Talmud Bavli Gmar Brachot, Perek Hamishi, Daf Lamed Dalid Bet, Chapter 5, Page 34b. Kohen Gadol Besof, Kobracha Bracha, a Kohen Gadol bows at the end of every blessing. Amelet, Kulilat, Kobracha Bracha, Besof, Kobracha Bracha, and a king at the beginning of every blessing and at the end of every blessing. Ama Rabbi Yitzhak Bar Nachmani, Rabbi Yitzhak Bar Nachmani said, Le didi mi pasha li mine de Rabbi Yosho ben Levi. It was explained to me in the name of Rabbi Yosho ben Levi. Hediot kemo shamru, shamarnu, an ordinary person, as we said earlier, that is, they bow the four times. Kohen gadol tchila kobracha bracha, a kohen gadol, at the beginning of every blessing. Hamel kevan shekarashuv eno zokev, and the king, once having bowed, does not straighten up. Shnema, Vayihi kechalot shlomo lihi kalel vagomer, kam milifne mizbeach Hashem, sorry, mizbeach Hashem, mikroa al birkav, as it says, and it was when Solomon had finished praying, he arose from before the altar of Hashem, from kneeling on his knees. That's from the Malach Malach 8, chapter 54. Tan Rabbanan, the rabbi's daughter of Araisa, Kida ala paim, Kida means bow on the fa- upon the face. Shnema batikod, bat sheva apaim eretz. As it says, then bat, bat sheva bow down, batikod, on her face to the ground. Kriya al birkaim, Kriya means on the knees. Shnema mikroa al birkav, as it says, from kneeling mikroa on his knees. Hishtachava'a zo pishut yadayim veraglayim. Hishtachava'a means extending the arms and legs, that is prostrating oneself fully on the ground. Shnema ha von avon ani ve'im ve'imcha va'achecha tishtachavot lecha Adza, as it says, shall I, your mother and your brothers, come to prostrate ourselves on the ground to you? Amar Rav Chia, Berei de Rav Huna, Rav Chia, the son of Rav Huna, said, Chazina lehu le'abaye v'rava de matzlu atzluye aso abaye, and Rava lean on their sides, as opposed to fully prostrating themselves. Tani Chada, we learned in Avaraisa, Hakorea Bahoda'a Hareze Meshubach, one who bows at Thanksgiving at Modim, is praiseworthy. Betanya Ida, but we learned in another Baraisa, Hareze Megune, someone who, bla- who bows at, at Modim, is blameworthy. Lokasha, there is no difficulty. Ha Batchila, the first is at the beginning. And this is uh, this is at the end of the blessing. Rava Kara Bahodaat Kilavasof Rava Bell at the beginning of Modim. And and also at the beginning, so he bowed at he bowed at Modim at the beginning and the end. Um Rayla Ravanan Ravas asked him, Ah my ka avid marhahi, why does the master act this way? Amalehu he answered them. Chazina le Rav Nachman dacha, Rav Chazina le le Rav Sheisha dacha, Avad Hachi. I observed Rav Nachman bowing at the beginning and end, and I observed Rav Sheisha acting this way as well. But Tanya Hakorea b'Hoda'a Harezi Megune. But we learned in the Brisa, one who bows at Modim is blameworthy. So why did he bow at both the beginning and end? Hachi b'Hoda'a shebehalel. That is uh, in reference to, so it doesn't, that's not a reference to, uh, that's not a reference to Modim during Ashman Esre, but rather Modim or Hoda'a, Thanksgiving in Hallel. But Tanya HaKorea Bahoda'a, Uba Hoda'a, Shel Hallel Hareze Megune. But we learned in a Baraisa, one who bows at Thanksgiving or at Thanksgiving in Hallel is, bl- is blameworthy. The Gemara answers, Kitanya hahiba hodati birkatamazon. That Baraisa refers to Thanksgiving in birkatamazon. 
which is the second blessing of Adelah Hashem Elokeinu. Which means that you do begin, at, you do bow at the beginning and end of my dear Mishra Nasre, but not during Hallel or in the Hallel, in the Hagar during Birkan Amazon. I mean, Palel Bata'a, one who prayed and made an error, Siman Radlo, it is a bad sign for him. And if it's the prayer leader, Siman Radlo Sholchav, then it's a bad sign for the congregation. Since a person's agent is like himself. They said about Rabbi Hanina Ben Dosa, Shehayami Palel Hacholim Ba'omer Zeh Chai Bezemet. That he would pray for the sick and would say, "This one live and this one will live, and this one will die." Am Rolomi Nain Atayodea. They said to him, "How do you know?" Am Alhem. He said to them, "Im Shekurat Tfilati Befi. If my prayer is fluent in my mouth, Yodea Ani Shehu Mekubal. I know that it's been received, and the person will recover. Be Im Love. If not, Yodea Ani Shehu Metora." I know that my prayer has been rejected. I'll just scroll down. So we're uh, halfway down the page at the Gemara. Gemara. Aheya. So where is the error at the, uh, or which error? In, uh, during the brachot is the Mishnah referring to. Amar Rav Chia, Amar Rav Safra, Mishum Chad Devei Rabbi. Rabbi Chia said in the name of Rav Safra, who said in the name of one of Rabbi's academy. Ba'avot, that's during the uh, patriarchal blessing. Ika Demadne La Abaraita, some taught this in regard to Abaraita. Hamipalel, one who prays ought to concentrate his thoughts in all the blessings. But if he cannot concentrate in all, let him concentrate in at least one of them. Rabbi Safra Mishum Deve Rabbi. Rabbi said in the name of, of Rav Safra, who said in the name of one of Rabbi's academy. But Avot. That means he must concentrate in the blessing of the patriarchs. So the blessing of the patriarchs is the very first bracha of Shmon Esre. And it talks about Abraham and Saki in the Akot. Amro laval Rabbi Hanina vechulei. They said about Rabbi Hanina ben Dosa. That's uh, when he would say that this one will live and this one will die. That, that's uh, talked about in the Gemara, in the Mishnah. Mna Hanemi what is the basis for this? Amar Rabbi Yosho ben Levi, Rabbi Yosho ben Levi said, Amar Karach, the Tanakh says, Bore Niv Sfataim, Shalom Shalom, Rachok Belakarov, Amar Hashem Ur Fativ. He creates Bore utterances of the lips. Peace, peace for the far and near, said Hashem, and I will heal them. That's from Ishayahu 57, verse 19. <coughs> Amar Rabbi Chia Bar Abba Amar All the prophets prophesied only one who marries his daughter to a Torah scholar. So these are the prophecies of the rewards and consolations of one who marries his daughter to a Torah scholar. Ule ose perak matya le talmid chacham and for one who engages in business on behalf of a Torah scholar, vele mi hane talmid chacham nichnasav and for one who benefits a Torah scholar with his with his possessions, aval tamidei chachamim atzman, ayin lo raata elohim zolatecha yaselem le yimchakelo. But the Torah scholars themselves, no, I. This is a quote. 
Yahu. No, I accept yours, O God, has seen that which he will do for one who awaits him. Amar Rabbi Chia Bar Abba, Amar Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Chia Bar Abba said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, Kol Hanivim Kulan Lo Nit Nabu E Lalimot Mashiach. All the prophets prophesied only about the uh, the time of Mashiach, the days of Mashiach. Aval Le Olam Haba. Another quote: Ain Lo Rata Elokim Zulatecha. But as for the world to come, no, I except yours, O God, has seen. Ufliga di Shmuel, and he disagrees with Shmuel. Da Ama Shmuel, for which Shmuel said, Ain ben haolam hazeli mata Mashiach, Ela shi ebud malchuyot bilvad. There is no difference between this world and the days of Mashiach, except for the dominion of foreign kings, kingdoms. Shnemar. Ki lo yefda levyon mi kerev ha'aretz, for it says, for the poor shall not cease from the land. Amar Rabbi Chia bar Abba, Amar Rabbi Yochanan, and Rabbi Chia bar Abba said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, kol hanivim kulan lo lo nitnabu ela leva alei teshuva. All the prophets prophesied only about reward for people who are penitent. Aval said the king Gemurim, Ain lo ra'ata elokim zulatecha, but for the completely righteous, a quote, No I except yours, O God, has seen. Ufliga de Rabbi Abahu, and he, Rabbi Yochanan, disagrees with Rabbi Abahu, de Ama Rabbi Abahu, for Rabbi Abahu said, Makom Shabale Chuva Omdim, in the place where penitents stand, Sadikim Gemurim Enam Omdin, the completely righteous do not stand. Shneemar, as it says, Shalom, Shalom, Lerachok and Lekarov, peace, peace to the far and to the near. Lerachok, Bereisha, Vahadal, Lekarov, first to one who is far and then to one who is near. That's uh, who God extends his greetings to. Rabbi Yochanan Vam Amalach, Rabbi Yochanan would say to you, My Rachok, what does it mean, Var? Shehaya Rachok Midvar, Avera Mikara, one who is far from sin all along, or my Karov, and what does it mean, near? Shehaya Karov Lidva Avera Vimitrachet Mimeno Hashta, the one who is near to sin and not drew away from it. My ain lo ra'ata, what does it mean? No eye has seen. Amar Rabbi Yosho ben Levi, Rabbi Yosho ben Levi said, said Ze yain ha meshuma fa anavav mishesha yemei bereshit. This is the wine preserved in its grapes since the six days of creation. Rabbi Shmuel bar Nachmani, Amar Rabbi Shmuel bar Nachmani said, Ze Eden shelo shalta bo ein kobriya, this is Eden. So these are, I just want to uh, go over that again. May, a, a few words before, May ein lo rata. So this is the infinite reward of which no eye has seen. So first it's the wine of the grapes since the six day preserved in grapes since the six days of creation, which is possibly a reference to Torah. Rabbi Shmuel Bar Nachmani Amar Rabbi Shmuel Bar Nachmani said, Ze Eden Shelo Shalta Bo Ein Kobria. This is Eden, upon which the eye of no creature has gazed. Shema Toma Adam Harishon Hechan Haya. Should you ask, where was Adam, the first man, if not in Eden? Because it just says that Eden, upon which the eye of no creature has gazed, but Adam was in Eden. The Shema Tomahu. Sorry, I missed a word. Shema Toma Adam Harishon Hechan Haya. Should you ask, where was Adam, the first? First man, wasn't he in Eden? The answer is Bagan, in the garden. 
the Shemata Maho Ganhu Eden, and should you say the garden is Eden, Talmud Loma Venahar Yoteme Eden La Lehashkot Et Hagan, scripture therefore states a river issues from Eden to water the garden Gan Lehud Ve Eden Lehud. The garden is in one place and Eden is in another place. Tanu Rabbanan, the Rabbi's taught no Baraisa, Ma'ase Shechala Benosha, Rabban Gamliel, once happened that Rabban Gamliel son fell ill. Shigesh ne Tomide Chachamim et el Rabbi Hanina ben Dosa, the Vakesha la Rachamim, Rabban Gamliel sent two scholars to Rabbi Hanina ben Dosa to, uh, to seek divine mercy for him. Ke van Shara'a otam ala la Aliyah, Ubi Kesha la Rachamim, as soon as Rabbi Hanina saw them, he went up to the attic and sought mercy for him. Viridato amalahim lehu shechalatsato chama. On coming down, he said to them, Go, for the fever has left him. Amru lovechi naviata. They asked him, Are you then a prophet? Amalahim lo navianochi velo vein navianochi. He said to them, I'm neither a prophet nor the son of a prophet. E la kach mekublani. Rather, I have a tradition. Im shekuba tfilati befi yodea ani shehu mekubal. If my prayer is fluent in my mouth, then I know that it has been received. And the person will recover. The im lav yodea ani shehu metorath. But if not, then I know that my prayer has been rejected. Yashu vechatu vechivunu. Otasha'a, they sat down and reported the exact time that this happened. O Sheba'u et Sel Rabban Gamliel Amalahen, and when they came back to Rabban Gamliel, he said to them, Ha'avoda, by the service, by a divine service, Lo chisartem velo hotartem elakach hayamase, you have neither detracted from nor added to the time of the recovery. It happened just so. At that very time, the fever left him, and he asked us for some water to drink. That means the time uh, when it says you have neither detracted from nor added to, that means the time of the recovery, according to Rabbi Hanina, was precise. Veshu Maseva Rabbi Hanina ben Dosa Shalachu Motura et Sal Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakai. Another thing happened concerning Rabbi Hanina ben Dosa who went to study Torah from Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakai. Vechala ben Dosa Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakai. Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakai's son fell ill. Amalo Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakai said to him, Hanina beni, Hanina my son. Vakesha la Rachamim viyichye. Seek mercy for him that he might live. Lay his, so Rabbi Hanina lay his head between his knees and sought mercy for him, and he lived. Amar Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai, Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai said, Ilma lay hitiach ben Zakkai et rosho ben birkav kol hayom kulo. Had ben Zakkai, that is, I myself, stuck his head between his knees all day long, Lo hayu mash gichim alav, they would not have paid any attention to him in the heaven and thought. Amra lo ishto, his wife said to him, Vechi chanina gadol mimecha, is chanina then greater than you? Amra la lav, he said to her, no. E lahu dome ke eved lifne hamelech, vani dome kesha lifne hamelech, rather he's like a servant before the king. While well, I am like an officer before the king. A servant uh, comes and goes freely and is on intimate terms with God. said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, Ali Adam Ela Sham A person should not pray except in a house with windows. 
שנאמר בחווין פתיחן לי בעיליתי נגד ירושלים for it says and he, Daniel, had windows opening his upper story facing Yerushalayim. Amar Rav Kahana, Rav Kahana said, Chatsif alay man demetzalei bevachta are you as arrogant, one who prays in an open area like a valley. Rashi says that a secluded place is more conducive to fear of God and to being contrite. Also, you're less likely to be distracted in a secluded place. So one who prays out in the open uh, shows arrogance and self-assurance that he's immune from distraction. Bahama Rav Kahana, Rav Kahana said, Chatsif alai man dimifaresh kete Are you as arrogant? One who exposes his sin by telling people about it. Shinemar Ashre Mesui Pesha Kesui Chata'a For it says, Happy is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered over. Hey, Dren, Alecha, Ein Omdin. We shall return to you, Ein Omdin.